Now, we've got that scuffed up. We could spend a little bit more time going through this. But this wheel is fairly, fairly good as far as the uh, as far as the finish goes. So it doesn't require a whole lot of uh, work there. We're just going to wipe this out now. You could use some good cleaner on it. You could use some alcohol uh, to do that, or you could use some paint, a prep cleaner on there. So we've got this. One area that I forgot to tape was this this lip area here. Now you could sand this and, and paint all the way across around this, okay? But on, on this wheel, <coughs> I'm just going to tape that off. But again, if you wanted to, you could uh, you could sand that area also. And uh, and paint that, and not have to do this that I'm doing. But I'm gonna just leave that an unpainted surface. Okay. Trimmers. Just gently going across. Got a real sharp razor blade there. So that's making this cut real easy. Okay. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect. This is not going to be showing. The main thing is to just get a good layer of paint on it to protect the finish. Okay? So, there we go. We're ready to paint. Take it over here. Put it on our cardboard face out. Put it on some cardboard face down. This way you don't have to tape the face of the wheel so you don't get any paint on it. And uh, we go over here and get our paint. I'm using some uh, flat black paint. You can use any color you want. Red, yellow, silver. I'm using a flat black. So, should get paint. And, uh, we're just going to go around here, around the wheel. Give that a second to dry and put a second coat on it. <coughs> of course, when you're doing this, you should be wearing a painter's mask and not breathing all in the fumes, doing a well ventilated area. Um, follow proper safety precautions when you're doing that. Uh, 
but I'm just we're just going a little bit quickly here for you guys to get some idea of, of how you want to do that again this is not uh, for everybody you don't have to do this I do this on my own wheels on my personal wheels on my car uh, simply because on the inside barrel a lot of times when we wash our car we leave the water moisture in there they're more susceptible to break dust so it's real important to keep that area clean a lot of times it's difficult to do that when you're washing the car most of the time you just want to spend it on the face of the wheel you want to clean the face of the wheel and you usually forget about the barrel so because again lay a chrome is a layered finish it's very important to keep that dry keep the moisture off of it because that moisture will seep through the layers start to separate them out that's when you have problems so because most people don't properly maintain the inside barrel of the wheel we usually suggest that you paint it so I do that on my own personal uh, vehicles again you can do it any color you want I choose flat black simply because it, it matches the dirt better so and again I'm gonna put one more layer of uh, paint on it take the tape off and then we're going to polish the front part of the wheel. So that's our next video. We'll show you how to properly care for the face of the wheel. This shows you how to take care of the barrel and some of the things that you might want to consider doing to your wheels, whether it's our wheels or another manufacturer's uh, chrome wheels. It's always a good idea to paint that inside part of the barrel. Now, on some wheels uh, you might not want to do that depending on how the design of the wheel is. If you've got a large 24-inch uh, wheel or something like that that's a different story but uh, in these cases I think with our wheels it works best if you put some color on the inside barrel of the wheel it's it's better for the finish adds uh, and it it adds some longevity uh, to the finish it makes it easier to take care of that finish because again most people don't properly care for the for the barrel of the wheel we're always making sure we clean the face of the wheel, we dry it off real good, but a lot of times we forget about that inside barrel. So this is one thing that you can do to paint that and kind of forget about it. So when you wash it, and there's moisture in the inside of the barrel. You don't have to try to get your kids out there to stick their little hands in between the, the spokes to dry up the, uh, the barrel. So this takes care of that for you. You can wash it and just leave the moisture on there, leave the water on there now because now that we've put a, a layer of paint on it, plastic paint, it's non-porous, won't allow that moisture to, to, to seep through, and so we can just forget about that finish pretty much now and just focus on the, on the face of the wheel. So there you go. If you have any questions, please visit our website, www.ponyr.com, or give us a call, 407-770-9080. We'll be happy to answer any questions you have. Thank you.